This video is going to show you how to create a dichotomous key using the flow map you already created. Here is the flow map I created showing the phyla of four organisms. To begin making a dichotomous key, I will number each of the pairs of descriptive statements. Each choice within the pair of statements receives a letter. The choice on the left is A, and the choice on the right is B. In this flow map, my prokaryote and eukaryote statements are number one. The prokaryote choice becomes 1A, and the eukaryote choice becomes 1B. I will continue numbering my flow map until all of my choices have a number and a corresponding letter. Now that my flow map is numbered, it is time to create my dichotomous key. I start by writing out all of the numbered pairs from the flowchart. My flowchart had 1a and 1b, 2a and 2b, and 3a and 3b. Once my numbered pairs are in place, it is time to begin writing statements for each of the flow map blocks. I return to my flow map and consult 1a and 1b. 1a says prokaryotes and 1b says eukaryotes. I need to put these statements on my dichotomous key as a short phrase. Just saying prokaryotes would be too vague. I know that prokaryote is the cell type and structure of the organism, so I can say the organism is composed of that type of cell. I will make statement 1a say composed of prokaryotic cells. My dichotomous key rules say that I need to make both statements start the same way, so 1b should say composed of at the beginning as well. Therefore, I will make statement 1b composed of eukaryotic cells. Now I need to fill in where my statements go next on the dichotomous key. To do this, I go back to the flow map. The flow map shows that statement 1a connects directly to a terminal end, phylum proteobacteria. I go back to my dichotomous key and add some connecting dots to the end of my descriptive phrase, then write phylum proteobacteria. Looking back at my flow map, choice 1b connects to my 2a and 2b statements. So on the dichotomous key, I add some connecting dots to the end of my 1b phrase and then write go to 2. I return to my flow map again and look at statements 2a and 2b. Both of these statements deal with reproduction. Since both statements on the dichotomous key should sound similar at the beginning, I will begin my phrases with reproduction can occur. I return to my dichotomous key chart and fill in 2a with the phrase reproduction can occur using asexual methods. I then complete 2b with the phrase reproduction can occur only through sexual methods. I look back at my flowchart to make my connections on the dichotomous key. 2a connects directly to phylum Basidiomycota, so I fill this in on statement 2a. Then I go back to the flow map. 2b connects to 3a and 3b, so I need to write go to 3 on my dichotomous key for statement 2b. I repeat the process for 3a and 3b. 3a and 3b both involve motility. The statements on my flow map are already phrased in a similar manner, so I will use those statements as they are written. 3a on my dichotomous key is written motile throughout life, while 3b is written motile only during some stages of life. According to the flow map, both 3a and 3b are terminal ends, so I fill in the correct phyla on the dichotomous key. I will now add a descriptive title to my dichotomous key. My dichotomous key is now complete. Just to be on the safe side, I will test my dichotomous key using one of the organisms I researched. I will choose my favorite mammal, the capybara. I start at statement number 1 and read both 1a and 1b. I know that capybars are in domain eukarya and therefore they are composed of eukaryotic cells, so I choose statement 1b. 
Statement 1B directs me to go to statement number 2. Again, I read both statements, and knowing that capybars are mammals, they reproduce only through sexual methods. So I choose option 2B, which directs me to go to statement number 3. After reading both statements 3A and 3B, I know that capybaras are able to move under their own power throughout their entire life. Therefore, I choose statement 3A. 3A is a terminal end of my dichotomous key and tells me that capybaras are in phylum chordata. Looking back at my research, I know this is correct, so my dichotomous key works. Congratulations! You have now finished making a dichotomous key.